Hello, I'm Kathy. I'm Rachel, and this is Luna Bird Book Club. Today marks our one year anniversary of being on YouTube Woo! as Luna Bird Book Club. So happy birthday to us! Happy birthday um, to us! Send us presents. <laughs> To mark this occasion, we have each got the other a present of a book to read. Now, we have each wrapped three of our own books that we think the other might like to read. You have and wrapped them a lot more prettily than I have. I, I used up the leftover wallpaper and some wrapping paper that turns out to be cell tape resistant. Which is like very annoying and useless, so sorry, but yours look beautiful. Thank you. The plan is... We each pick one of the books that the other has selected for us, then we unwrap it and that's going to be the next book that we read. Mm. Um, now, full disclosure, <laughs> we filmed the first half of this video in slow motion, so this is, from now on, until Kathy starts opening presents, this will be a reenactment. <laughs> but as an actress, I think it'll be pr pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> Let's swap piles. Okay, swapping presents. And investigate. Hmm. This is a cute little one. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a hardback. Mid-size. I feel like all of yours are hardbacks. <laughs> I feel like this one feels like a non-fiction book. <laughs> because I just I just feel like this it just it feels informative. Okay. I feel like this is the height of a book that has something to tell you, and the, but it's like not too thick, so it doesn't want to intimidate you. I think this is a non-threatening non-fiction book. Okay. That's my guess for that one. I like the assumption that you think that I have non-fiction books to recommend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not that not that that means anything. Anyway, I'm going to pick one of these books. Okay. And I'm going to pick the rainbow one because it's different and you know. <laughs> We like rainbows. <laughs> the Glowing <laughs> by Kirsty Logan. Now, I have looked at this book on Kathy's shelf and wanted to read it. So I'm, I'm glad that you picked this one. I'm now going to open the others just to see what so, I missed so out you on. I think you have picked the one that I think I thought would best suit you. Now you... I can't open it now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Watership Down. Also a book that I look at your, on your shelves and I want to read. But not yet. Maybe one day. And last one. Jurassic Park! Mm -hmm. I actually own this book. Oh, we have you? a copy of it in our house. I just haven't read it. Oh. I feel like these are all books that I would actually want to read. Um, so you've done a good job of picking Yay. ones for me. I feel like I perhaps have not done as good as that. <laughs> oh. But I think out of these three, I am. I would most want to read this one. So yeah, and I feel like with my choice. this is a good summer read because it's like set on an island, mm -hmm. water, tragic families, bit of love, magical stuff. Hmm. I think it's a good summer read. Part one. Ooh, don't look parts. in the book, Rachel. Okay, okay Kathy, turn. your turn. I think I'm gonna go for the middle one because it, this just feels like a nice book to carry around. Okay. That, that's my thinking. Let's see. <gasps> oh, I see L. Oh, no, no, it's a birthday wrapping paper. <laughs> I'm getting confused. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Hag Hagseed, Hag Margaret Atwood. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I've read The Handmaid's Tale, but I've never read any of her other work. So this is like a retelling of The Tempest by Shakespeare. Oh. It was a few years ago, a lot of authors did, took inspiration from Shakespeare's work and wrote novels based on them. And this is Margaret Atwood's. Oh, very and cool. I think it, it, oh, I think it is a book that you would enjoy. Yeah. Um, it's different. I, I like it. I really did. I, so I've read The Hammer's Tale and I loved her writing, but The Hammer's Tale is one of those books where, like, I've read it once, I can't bring myself to mm -hmm. do it again because it's too upsetting. Mm -hmm. I've also read The Hammer's Tale and I tried to read the start of, I think it's called The Testaments. Yeah. The sequel. I just couldn't vibe with it. Mm. Anyway. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I, I, I had not heard of this, but I, I look forward to reading it now. The font's quite cool as well. So you're not going to get to see the font. But yeah, cool. What could I have won? What could you have won? 
What's the little one? Definitely a non-fiction book. <laughs> Definitely. Ooh! The Hero and the Crown! That looks really cool! The Chronicles of Dema. Robin McKinley? This is a, a fantasy book by a female author. Oh, cool! I always love female written fantasy. I do. That, it, is a, it is a good book. I almost, I tried to, I have another book that's also a similar size. Yeah. Um, by Robin Hobb. Um, and I wanted to try and find another one that I had read to like match. So you had three female written fantasy novels to oh. choose from. But I didn't have a third, so. And it's by Orbit Publishing. I've always, I've, do you know, I don't think I have any Orbit Publishing books, but I, I do really admire what they do when I, I, mean, okay. I want to buy them. Oh, I'm publishing 85. Very cool. Maybe I'll, I'll come back to another time. And this book, which I'm now beginning to think is not a no, non-fiction non book. Fiction. It's a graphic Ooh! novel! Nimona by Andy Stevenson. Oh, that would have been cool too. I like the style on the art. There's also, there's a Netflix film of this. Is there? I don't know if you've seen it, but oh. it's good. Oh, that is also very cool. It's dragons! There are dragons. Pow, so that's what you could have won? That's what I could have won. It's not what you did win. I am quite happy with what I won though. Okay, it's cool. It's really cool. Yay! Happy birthday, Luna Bird! Happy birthday, Luna Bird! <laughs> did we both of the fees? I think you missed the thumbnail. Um, oh, no, do you know we, we really should have had it <laughs> in the wrapping, but we didn't do that, so.